Recent enhancements to the city's Geographic Information System, or GIS, brings even more information about City of Midland properties to your fingertips. But to know what you can do with GIS, first you should understand a little bit about what GIS is. I always tell folks, loosely described, GIS is like computerized mapping. It takes information and links it to location. Virtually everything that we can see on the earth can be shown on the map. Things like property boundaries, roads, fire hydrants, all of those can be represented in a GIS. We can then use our new and enhanced interactive map to answer geographic-based questions like, what parts of the city will flood when the river reaches flood stage, or where is the closest fire hydrant, or what are the properties that are within 300 feet of a particular parcel that will be rezoned. While the city staff uses the GIS system on a regular basis, taking advantage of valuable information that saves time and money, Midland businesses frequently use the site as well. Realtors and prospective home buyers can use the interactive map to get all sorts of information like tax assessment, they can look at refuse collection schedules, they can look at where their kids might go to school, the closest parks, they can even get a picture of the house as viewed from the road. Businesses that want to locate to our community will use GIS to answer such questions as tax assessment history or questions of planning, zoning, land use. The site is even useful to you, the citizen, in your everyday life. They can zoom in, look at their house with an aerial photography in the background, they can print out a map. Or maybe they're interested in starting running or walking and they want to measure their planned route, they can go into the interactive map, they can measure their distance. Perhaps you're interested in planning a block party or you want to notify a certain segment of the neighborhood in town. You can use the interactive map to identify property addresses and then generate mailing labels for those addresses, all with the interactive map. Another great feature to the site is the parks mapping feature that allows you to see all the amenities of your favorite city park. You can locate where the play features are, bathrooms, grills, and even the park's layout. You can type right on the features and print out the finished piece for your next group gathering. And now GIS has expanded to even include county information. We've uh, improved the map and extended it out to include not only the city but also the county as well. So county residents can come into the interactive map, search for their address, zoom in, look at their house on top of an aerial photo. Well right now we don't have any property details. That is an area that we're looking at uh, expanding in the near future. Uh, we do however offer some of our GIS data that does directly benefit county residents. The floodplain is a good example of that. County residents can zoom to their property, they can look at the floodplain, see where their house is in relation to the floodplain. Utility infrastructure, specifically fire hydrants is another example. Our vision for the interactive map into the future is to have one centralized location where all members of the community, be it city and county, can come to get their one-stop shop for GIS-based information and data. These many enhancements help the city garner a Special Achievement Award from GIS software developer ESRI Incorporated. The city received special recognition from among 300,000 plus organizations worldwide for our vision, leadership, and innovative use of GIS technology.